doing some setting out for the blocks. So the concrete pad isn't necessarily perfectly square, which isn't a problem because it's oversized. It has become a, a netball court and a sun lounge area. But uh, yeah, so what we've done is we've just used a piece of timber, which is over here to take. We know that this is level and this is square, this decking. So what we've done is just taken a measurement at four stages across the width and that's given me a straight line across the back and then all I've done I've got a smaller set square 400 mil set square but what I've actually done is I've made a, a meter 1.2 meter set square um, to make it in the corners a bit easier so now we've got that back square line we're able to actually ascertain what the, uh, the square line will be on here and then we can get some pegs and a string line out and uh, we can finally start laying some of these bad boys but, uh, yeah see you soon so all we're doing here just got a nice little bed going just four and one although the way the cement's going i'm thinking of mixing it up to a 55 to one ratio but yeah all we're doing is just checking as we go that we're nice and true check with a small boat level and then we uh then we go through with a big level but we've got all our string lines set out that's the most important thing just make sure you follow them don't rush and uh, ideally don't do it in the heat that i'm doing it in i've had to stop work gotta be quiet i've spotted something very very rare some say it's not been seen for the last seven days but i've actually discovered one in my garden i can't believe it i phoned the bbc i phoned itv and i think david attenborough is on his way be very quiet it was just while i was just setting out my bricks now oh there it is there it is oh look at it it's cement how crazy is that? And the cement awaits his prey. It's gone now, but how awesome was that? Steve Irwin would have been proud. All right, so we're just carrying on laying some blocks. So we've got our four in one mix. Last mix of the day, so it's starting to go a bit funny now. Uh, really, when you get to this stage, what you want to be doing is you're getting rid, because trying to tap it down is actually harder than bloody mixing it up again so just remember it is groundwork it's not cookery I'm not a bricky you know far from it um, but you know, it's just about having a go isn't it just about having a go I ain't laid many blocks today I don't think you want to have a pan round and just literally finish work hour or so ago and we've just been plodding along out the back but yeah just in the back of your mind you know all this is going to be covered up you know, it's not going to be on site it's going to be nobody uh nobody coming around you know look at tommy walsh he was crap he made a lot of money working our way around let's grab a block always have your blocks by your roll as well which i haven't done i've just run out so should have moved these in first but, uh, yeah. just getting these in yeah, try and be as organised as you can. And then uh, I like to use a malt because I'm not very good with a bed. So this is just a patio laying malt, curb as malt, whatever you want to call it, rubber hammer. But um, personally, I just find it a bit easier to give them a tap down. But just uh, when you're tapping down, try and tap from the middle. We're just looking, we're getting that nice and, and level. Oh, sweet, satisfied. We'll grab our level. Just, ooh, little level's great, but got a joint that needs to go down there. But yeah, there you go. Nice and level. And we'll just have a tidy up of the sides. On the back, what I like to do on the back, which is very important, is not give a toss because no one's going to see it. So providing them joints, you've got no dry joints, everything's filled, you know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Um, I will go around with a roughing iron after, but 
this pond is being fiberglassed, so I mean, you can see how long that that's taken me. You know, proper bricklayers probably looking at this screen, going, "Jesus, what the hell is this guy doing?" But you know, with the wires, if you're lucky enough to be a brickie, then you know that's fantastic. But uh, yeah, with DIYs, wires, this is how DIYs do things. Probably the wrong way, but there you go. That's a block laid. I don't know if Evie wants to have a pan around just to have a look at what we've done this evening in an hour or so. A couple of hours. And now we're just building up our corners. And, uh, yeah, so as I say, probably struggling to hear me now. I'll come close to the camera. Stretch, straighten my back a bit as well. Um, it's a four in one mix. Like I say, it's, uh, with the, the cement prices, I'm tempted up to go to a 3,054 to one mix, just trying to make it last. Yeah. Just making sure we got our half overlap on the bomb. Um, there's nothing really else. A bit of fed bond is in the mix just to make it a bit more workable. I mean, ideally, it should be covered in this heat. The water's going off pretty quick, so just trying to put a um, bit of fed bond in there, a bit of plasticizer just to keep it workable. But other than that, yeah, it's not rocket science. You know, if you're a trader, then you're, you're quick and you're, your work's bang on, and you ain't got to play around with it boat level and the malt and god knows what else you know they're straight down and onto the next one but you know it's, it's not outside the capabilities of a diy so uh, get your tools have a go and remember it's groundwork it's not cookery we'll cover it up at the end but, uh, yeah i'll uh, catch you in a bit ciao So there we go folks, that wraps up another week, sun's going down in the background, just wanted to give you a quick update of where we got to this week, with the nice news, the existing pond all treated for flukes and everybody in it appears to be hunky dory, hopefully no more flashing, lethargic fish are back up feeding. Shower filter's all done, back up and running. So that's uh, some details about that are in another video, how I made it, how it runs, what it looks like. So it looks like that to be fair, but uh, you can watch it in another video if you like. Pretend you didn't see it in this one. But yeah, the fish are all happy, temperatures are up. Free feed today, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. But in terms of the Zinu pond, excuse the glare from the sunshine, so, got a water feed, it's all got to be hooked up. It is buried at the back of the pond. Um, but we've come, like I said, I think in one of my other videos, we're now at a stalemate because we've got no more materials left. Um, everything's been used up, blocks have been used up, sand and cement's been used up. Um, got a bit of building sand left, but not a lot. But the issue we have is everywhere is clean out of cement and blocks have become quite hard to get hold of um, but i've managed to get an order in for thursday so what's the day today monday so got some more coming thursday um also ordered my jbr skimmer today so when that arrives i think it's a couple of week wait on that it says a bloody weight on everything um yeah when that arrives we'll uh, we we'll do a little bit of an unboxing for those that haven't seen it i'm sure most have um, but yeah, when you're building a block pond, it's just a bit easier than the, uh, the cheapo pop McCoy ones and that. But uh, yeah, that's where we're up to. So just use some old pond liner. Um, this is going to be fiberglassed. So although the weather's dry, what I didn't want is um, the heavens open in traditional British style. So we've got um, the damp proof membrane from underneath the concrete, what was left, and a bit of old uh, pond liner. EPDM, whatever it's called. And I've just put that behind to make sure, uh, obviously it's underneath and then it's tied over at the bottom of the wall. Um, I don't want any water coming through the blocks if it does get wet. Because who knows when I finish this pond, it could be halfway through winter. But uh, yeah, like I say, when it comes to, to fiberglassing, what we don't want is damp walls and damp bottom. And so far, it's pretty good. So, uh, lot work looks pretty tidy. So that there in that corner, that's halfway now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six blocks. So that's that's halfway. 
So um, yeah, it doesn't feel like we've got far and it feels like we've got a long way to go. But yeah, oh, my grass needs cutting again. But yeah, that's it for this week. I'll um, see you next week with another update, hopefully. Maybe next week or possibly the week after. Depends how we get on once materials are arrived. But hopefully the weather stays nice for everyone. And uh, hope you're enjoying the weather. And we've just had half term. So hopefully a lot of you have had a bit of time off of the kids. And yeah, just get by that pond and, and chill out. And yeah, give everything a go. Just remember, it's, uh, it's groundwork. It's not cookery. And got to look pretty. So uh, save yourself some pennies and uh, give it a whirl. I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao. Oh, my God.